Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 35 at the Stade Bonal, where Hervé Renard's Socio denied Paris Saint Germain the chance to be crowned Ligue 1 champions on Sunday. The Capital Club had made a good start, Edinson Cavani giving them the lead in the 24th minute in some style. The Matador with his 16th goal of the campaign. What about that from the Uruguayan? But Socio drew level thanks to a Thiago Silva owned goal in the second half. And Salvatore Sirigu not exactly covering himself in glory here. Socio holding on to their survival chances then. While PSG will have to wait at least 10 more days to wrap up back to back Ligue 1 titles. It was a rather more straightforward affair for second place Monaco down in Corsica as they eased to victory over relegated Ajaxio. Dimitar Berbatov gave the visitors the lead in the 52nd minute after a neat ball in from Jean Martinho. And the Bulgarian added a second in the 74th after a lovely ball through from James Rodriguez, tucking home his fifth league and goal, cool as a cucumber. Well, Ajaxio reduced the arrears when Ganji Tallo blasted in from close range just a minute later. However, Berbatov turn provided two minutes from time, allowing Jeffrey Kondogbia to sweep in his first ever league and goal. Lovely low finish past Guillermo Ochoa. And substitute Lucas Acampos rounded things out in injury time with this superb volley. Finished at 4 1 to Monaco. They remain eight points ahead of third place Lille. Now, speaking of Lille, they look set to join PSG and Monaco in next season's Champions League after beating Bordeaux on Sunday. They took the lead in the 23rd minute after a moment of magic from Florent Balmont. An inch perfect cross allowing Solomon Kalou to head home his 13th of the season. They doubled their lead when Simon Kier's 68th minute free kick proved too hot to handle. Ryan Mendes sweeping home the rebound. Well, Bordeaux were then awarded a penalty as Kier brought Jussier down in the area. Going from hero to zero, the Dane. And the Brazilian stepped up to convert himself and made no mistake, but it finished 2-1 to Lille. Now saint Etienne are all but guaranteed to play European football next season after getting the better of Evian at the Parc des Sports. Benjamin Cornier put Lever ahead after seven minutes after latching onto Max Alan Gridel's cross. Well, Gridel was also behind the second goal, nodded in by captain Loic Perrin on 15 minutes. So an explosive start from Santi. Evian did pull one back shortly after the interval as Cedric Barbosa broke down the left flank. He crossed in for Daniel Vaz to sweep the ball home at the second time of asking. And it finished 2-1. Well, Leon kept pace with their rival Saint-Étienne by making short work of Bastia on Sunday. Bafatimbi Gomis gave them the lead in the 14th minute, nodding in his 13th of the season. Gomis was involved in the second as well. This one was eventually swept home by 20-year-old youth product Nabil Fakir. His very first goal in Ligue 1, well worthy of a yellow card. Bastia pulled one back just after half-time through Gianni Bruno. Not the prettiest goal of the weekend, but they all count. However, Bakary Kone restored Lyon's two-goal cushion by powering in this Fakir corner three minutes later. Well, Fakir then rounded out a superb performance with a second assist of the game, this time for Alexandre Lacazette. His 15th goal of the season, 4-1 to Lyon, who tightened their grip on fifth place. Well, Marseille lost ground in the race for Europe on Friday as they were held to a draw in Nantes. They did take the lead on the half-hour mark thanks to a superb strike from Florian Tova. Cheeky little flick here from André-Pierre Gignac and a lovely finish from the 21-year-old, his seventh of the season. However, Nantes drew level in the 64th minute. Another fine long-range effort, this time from Serge Gakpé. The Canaries then all but guaranteed to be playing a Ligue 1 football again next season. And Marseille, Europe looking ever more distant. 
Rennes gave a rather unconvincing performance ahead of next Saturday's French Cup final against Guingamp as they hosted fellow Brittany rivals Lorient. Alain Traore putting the visitors ahead in the 17th minute. But Rennes did rescue a point. Paul Georges and Tep heading home in the 73rd minute. They will have to improve though if they want to claim their first trophy in 43 years. Nice won their first game since mid-March at home to Reims on Saturday thanks to a rather unusual goal from Valentin Eserich. His fairly tame effort sailing through a crowd of bodies and into the back of the net. 1-0 and Nice all but safe. Toulouse travelled to Montpellier on Saturday evening and made the perfect start. Oscar Trejo putting them 1-0 up with barely five minutes on the clock. However, the visitors were undone by Montpellier's super sub, Karim Aid Fana. He came off the bench to equalise in the 79th minute. And a few minutes later, he won a penalty, which Remy Cabela converted to seal a 2-1 win for Montpellier. Finally, Gangon claimed a vital win over Valenciennes in the weekend's big relegation battle. Claudio Beauvue with the game's only goal, which all but condemns Valenciennes to Ligue 2 next season. All the results from the weekend then with 27 goals scored. Wins for Monaco, Lille, Saint-Étienne and Lyon, but not for PSG. We'll have to put the champagne on ice. Also, of course, that vital win at the bottom for Gangon. So with three games to go, Paris eight points ahead, while Monaco and Lille look well-placed to snap up the other two Champions League spots. Marseille's draw in Nantes means that they're now five points off a European place. Valenciennes are nine points from safety, and their goal difference means that they're all but down. So show, though, are still in with a chance, especially as they have to play 17th place to Evian on the final day of the season. It's a slightly unusual programme next week because of Saturday's French Cup final between Rennes and Guingamp. Bastia hosts Lille on Friday before seven games on Sunday. Monaco and PSG are both in action the following Wednesday, May the 7th.